Hello there Star Wars fans, today I want to make a quick video to talk about Darth Vader. I love Darth Vader, you love Darth Vader. Everyone loves Vader, we're going to talk about him, he's great. And today I want to talk about a question that's always kind of been in the back of my mind. Did Darth Vader truly care about the Empire after Padme died? What motivated him to continue to fight? After all, in the Clone Wars, throughout his life pretty much as a Jedi, at least the end of it, he fought for one person. Padme Amidala. When she died, what was the motivation? To fight for Palpatine, to fight for the Empire. And today I have a quick answer from Vader's perspective, from the book The Lords of the Sith. And before we get into it, please do consider hitting the like button, it helps a ton. Please subscribe and leave a comment, I want to know what your answer to this question is. Anyways, let's get into it. Fun as always. So, Vader is angry in this book, and he begins to think about the galaxy as he gazes out into the stars, begins to think about what he has to do in order to truly bring peace to the galaxy once and for all. And in this book, we get this passage from Vader. He looked out and up through the large viewport that opened out onto the galaxy and its numberless worlds and stars. It was his duty to rule them all. He saw that now. It was the manifest will of the Force. Existence without proper rule was chaos, disorder, suboptimal. The Force bent towards order and was the tool through which order could and must be imposed, but not through harmony, not through peaceful coexistence. That had been the approach of the Jedi, a foolish, failed approach that only fermented more disorder. Vader and his master imposed order the only way it could be imposed. The way the force required that it be imposed, through conquest, by forcing the disorder to submit to the order, by bending the weak to the will of the strong. The history of Jedi influence in the galaxy was a history of disorder, and the sporadic wars that disorder bred. The history of the Empire, though, would be one of enforced peace, of imposed order. So that's the end of that really quick passage, which I just wanted to read, which I wanted to go over. It gives us a look into why Vader fights, why he continues to do this. To me, if I'm, you know, trying to read into it all, Vader believes himself to be kind of an all-powerful being that the Force is using, or the Force has created, to enforce order, to force peace. Vader, in my opinion, is now driven largely by his hatred for the Jedi. The Jedi who ruled with peace and the ruling with peace that failed rather miserably in the end, causing him to lose everything. And now it is up to Vader to restore order, to show the Jedi they were wrong, pretty much. You know, not do it the opposite of how the Jedi did it. But now, his purpose in life is to bring peace by enforcing it, as the Force commands. Back when he was Anakin Skywalker, his purpose in life revolved around one person, Padme, Amidala. She was all that ever really mattered to Anakin, at least after his mother passed, and eventually she died as well. She died because of a war the Jedi helped create, in Anakin's opinion at least, so now he has to search for a new purpose, and that new purpose is to eradicate any Jedi influence around the galaxy and rule with order, show the Jedi they were wrong. He had to make things the way he wants them to be. That's my view on the whole thing. Let me know your thoughts. Why did Vader continue to fight? Did, I mean, in his position after losing everything, maybe it was just a, almost a coping mechanism. Just the only thing he knew how to do. The only thing left to do in his life was serve the Emperor. It's a sad tragedy, really, but Vader's an awesome character. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts on all this. I wanted to make a second video today, and this really stuck out to me. So I thought, hey, let's talk about it. I want to know what you think. Let me know, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.